Neighbors along Lake Ontario will be watching the forecast very closely. They've been dealing with lake levels that are one foot higher than usual, so any amount of rain means uncertainty. And this isn't the first time places like Fairhaven have had to deal with this, the high water. But as News Channel 9's Rob Hackford found out, this time they're not taking any chances. It's faint but still visible. That white line along the fence is where the water level hit back in 2017. It's not that bad right now, but the water is rising. And neighbors in Fairhaven worry it could get that bad once again. Right. What do you think, Lee? think that's high enough? That's probably the high point there. As a business owner along Little Sodus Bay... I can kind of go like this, you know, at an angle. Brian DiBernardo learned back in 2017 that high water isn't something you leave to chance. So last time we were up probably 30 inches in sandbags. Oh, wow. um, yeah, yep. So a lot so, more than you've got out, like you were saying. Oh yeah, yeah, it was wrapped all the way around the building. While Di Bernardo says the signs aren't as dire this year, he and the village are more ready this time. I saved pallets of sandbags from two years ago. Um, but I don't know how far that will go. And that uncertainty is largely because of the International Joint Commission, or IJC. The group controls how much water is released from Lake Ontario. What do you think, Walter? I think it's sad we got to do this again. And as Deputy Mayor Walter uh, Kraling explained, with shipping yeah. season underway, less water is let out the St. Lawrence and ends up splashing over the banks. But hopefully, hopefully it'll start going down, but... That's a big hope. A hope this village is depending on. In Fairhaven, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. The village will be providing free sandbags for neighbors who live along the lake shore. Pickup begins tomorrow at noon at the Church Street Village Pavilion.